First Colonial Pipeline and now Beatonbow Homes, the latest victim of a ransomware attack by Russian hackers. That's where we begin tonight at 10. Thanks for joining us. I'm Tatum Gwynn. Beatonbow says that this attack was similar to the one against the Colonial Pipeline about two weeks ago. But here's the difference between the two. Personal information of people who have purchased a Beatonbow home was potentially exposed. Jonathan Palasik is on the story. Jonathan, what is Beatonbow doing now? Good evening, Tatum. First things first, they beefed up their network, closed the hole that the attackers got in through, and got rid of the malware. Now the work begins of protecting compromised personal information. A beaten bow breach and sensitive customer information put at risk. On May 3rd, beaten bow companies became victims of a ransomware attack. A criminal hacker gang has targeted and victimized our company. Um, resulting in a system breach. That's company president Cal Zant explaining what happened and how they are working to fix it. Our team knew the exact moment uh, our systems were compromised and we have been vigilant in how we have approached the remediation of this ransomware attack uh, to protect each of our customers who have placed their trust in beaten boat companies and to try to prevent similar attacks in the future. Vice President of Operations Corey Lusk saying that as a result of this attack, their system will have stronger protections. Beatonbow Homes is engaged with a cybersecurity firm and legal professionals that are helping us take our systems to another level so that we can better protect any at-risk individuals, whether it be our customers, our partners, or our employees. I would say today that our systems are, are better protected today more than ever before. As for at-risk individuals, Beatonbow is offering services to help you protect your information. Beatonbow Companies is committed to protecting at-risk individuals by providing identity theft monitoring and restoration services through LifeLock at no cost to the individuals for up to one year. Now, Beaten Bow Homes said that they will, that if you have any questions about the recent attack, to go ahead and reach out to them. They said that they will also be contacting individuals who may be at risk, so you may be uh, receiving an email at some point. Now, to go over those next steps, reporting live in Midland, Jonathan Pulasic, News West 9.